This is Rev with my Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic production. And you know what time it is. Rev it up. Good morning, YouTube family and friends. This is Rev with Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. This is uh, the first Monday after Mustang Week. What a fabulous week we had with all the Mustangs here. Enjoyed the show. Enjoyed all the meets and greets and uh, meeting places that we we're at. And all the fine Mustang owners that we met. God bless you guys. I hope you made it home safe. And we hope to see you again next year. Um, today... It's Monday, uh, September 13th, and I noticed a small problem a couple of days ago with uh, the uh, 99 Cobra electric. Um, my tachometer here. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. My tach, um, it works. Let's see when I turn the switches on when I hit the second switch here you'll see the tack she goes up she moves where she's supposed to but when I rev the engine up the tack doesn't move at all so um, that's what I'm going to find out what's going on here today now what I'm going to do it seems like it's a ground because I checked all the fuses and all my fuses are working. And um, besides the fuse wouldn't uh, do that, but this is a fuse, it wouldn't work at all. So it's gotta be a ground uh, somewhere that's loose. Cause when I hit a bump, the tack goes to the proper RPM and then it drops. And there's nothing wrong with the needle. The needle is working fine. So. Uh, that's what this video is going to be about, finding a short in your tachometer. So I'm going to 
um, start under the hood because the hood is the first thing that I had put on the car. And um, maybe the ground is not connected properly because I had the uh, tack signal connected to the ground to my hood strap. So I'm going to go out there and, and see if that might be the problem. If not, then I'll have to go. Um, I'll probably have to go up underneath up underneath here and trace the ground wire and follow it and see where it's going. So uh, let me get up under the hood and uh, we'll check the ground strap. Okay, so here we are under the hood. While we're here, let, let me explain some things. This is my Vortec 3, my Vortec 3 supercharger. And uh, it's one of the original ones. You can see the Cobra sitting there. And this is a Ford SVT. And here's the stamp with the two guys who built the engine. Their names are on it. And this also has coolant that goes through here to help keep the supercharger cool. Then also, I have a Maruso uh, coolant right here, reservoir, to help keep the supercharger cool and up underneath the bumper the front cover bumper probably about right over here I have an auxiliary water pump to keep the water circulating there and there you can see it's a, the big 32 valve engine um, I keep it pretty clean because it goes to a lot of car shows but you know everything can be a little bit more cleaner and uh, we're gonna jazz it up some more but uh, there's the big four foot by two foot Cobra uh, that's painted underneath the hood. And the car is named Electrobiff. Okay, so right away we found the problem. Okay, so this is the 34 pin. Okay, uh, junction. And as you can see, here's the tack signal. We had to tack it up, pin it into the 32 valve system. So that's my tack, tack signal. And we wired it to go right to the, this 34 junction box. And pin 34 is the red one. So we have a ground wire that comes off of it, okay? So my hood was the last thing to put on. And the guys that did my hood uh, probably didn't realize it, but look at here. That right there. That right there will cause my tack to work funny. So we're just going to get uh, probably a 7 or 8 millimeter. And we're going to tighten that down. And I guarantee you my tack will start to operate properly. So it was a little 5 16 head. So we got it tightened down pretty good. So now... Um, we're going to go crank it up and uh, see if she idles and see if the, the tack idles like it's supposed to. Oh! everything all right so that wasn't such a hard task um, all you have to do is just remember the last thing that was done when any of your accessories or anything starts acting up uh, whatever you put on the car last trace those roots now this hood was put on back in 
I want to say May. And I got it all painted and all that. I I did uh, videotape that uh, sessions of it when I first got it, when it was uh, fitted, primed, and uh, painted. And then we had the uh, Cobra Snake Stripe put on it. And then the Cobra underneath the hood. So that was my first thought is that there's a ground under there that's uh, not properly attached. And so that's what it was. And my tack is very important because, you know, this is a show car, but, you know, it's a Mustang. And every once in a while, you're going to punch it. And I pushed it pretty hard uh, this Mustang week. We even um, did some small burnouts, really small ones. But, you know, we revved up. We in the rev contest. And um, although the red line in, in here, my red line is about 6,800. Um, I don't dare go up that high. Um, I have my attack set at 58 or 5,900 RPM. So um, it's important so I don't ruin my valve train. So when I do my revs and pulls, um, I stay between 3,000 to 5,900 RPMs and my shift light would come on if I'm at 58 or 5,900 RPMs telling me to shift and my green light up here would light up also um, indicating that. So I can, I can ride up to 5,900 and that light will tell me to shift that gear so I don't get above my preferred RPMs. So it's very important because with my um, with my NRG steering wheel here, I can't see my tack here, and I can't see the speedometer with, with what I'm doing. But just like NASCAR, by looking at my tack here, I know exactly how fast I'm going and what gear that I'm in. So um, that's that's very important to me, you know. So I I got to have that big tack uh, working and you know it lights up green and you know if you can see that it's green so um, everything uh, pretty much lights up green 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 all across there so um, it's kind of embarrassing when you're out there at night and uh, your windows are down and there's a big crowd around and you're you're revving your engines and this thing is sitting at you know 1000 rpms or sitting at zero <laughs> um that's very embarrassing if it's not going up up and down so anyway we got that and we found that so anytime something is um having intermittent problems like that but it works and you go over a bump like your radio cuts on and cuts off when you're going over a bump or something like that or when you slam your door the radio stops working it will be a ground somewhere so it's a short or a ground and that's all you have to do is just uh, trace your wires um, I got pretty fortunate that it was right up there in the front so hope you guys enjoyed this, this little short video on how to trace a ground and find out why one part of your accessory is not working in my case it was my uh, my tachometer so God bless Give us some thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the bell. Every time we make a recording, uh, you'll be notified. You don't want to miss any of this. We are going to start recording frequently and doing things and, and modding up the Mustang some more. So God bless. Till next time. God bless.